Hello and good evening. My name is John and I'm joined by MPG. And we're here playing speed dating for ghosts. Now MPG, I am not a ghost. Have you have you ever have you ever ghosted somebody? I don't I was not a very I was never big on the on the dating scene. Oh, okay. Um, so I don't think I, I have been ghosted, I think. Oh hello there. <laughs> you okay. must be here for speed dating. My name is Fran. I run this little operation. All right, you're gonna make all the choices for me, okay? Um. All right. So let's let's be polite. You know, nice to meet you, Fran. You're a nice one. We got all kinds of ghosts here. Nice ones, sad ones, a few spooky customers. It gets lonely being a ghost, does it? Uh. Well, I guess if we like being alone, then we. Like, why are we here? So let's say it has been pretty difficult. It has. Wonderful. Hmm. <laughs> let's get started. Got three rooms set up, each with their own super fun themes. You pick one and sit at a table. Then what? <laughs> Another ghost who also Another. signed up to cross from you. You'll have a few minutes to get to know them. Then a bell rings and you switch seats. A bell rings right. from somewhere. Just like that. In all, you'll meet three ghosts over two rounds. And at the end, You'll get to choose your favorite. If they like you too, you go on a date. How's all that sound? I can't wait. Neither can I. First thing first though, we need a name, we need a pronoun, what do we need? Oh, what's that? You need that. I don't, oh, which room do we want? Oh, okay. Uh, ooh, let's go with the room of black. I want to meet a goth ghost. Yeah. Like just really lean into it. A ghost. <laughs> the room in black isn't really a room at all. It's more of a garden courtyard. The sun beats down as you squint to see what's growing. Rows upon rows of yellow and brown plants, drying and rotting in the sun. What fruit these plants produced shriveled on the vine. But there's a peace to this place. Crickets are chirping. Walls in the gardens, a train passes. Sit at a table opposite an empty chair. Bell rings and a ghost appears. Oh, you got tentacle hairstyle? Is that like a Medusa? Oh, nice. Ooh. It's an Asari. It's an Asari I'm ghost. a ghost. <laughs> ooh. Uh, let's, let's, ooh, back at him. Lol. <laughs> Wait. Lol. Isn't it great being dead? Uh, I'd rather be alive, frankly. You'd rather be alive? Actually? That's so sad. Being dead is where this is the best way to live. I'm Ray. I'm like dead, obviously. I'm also like dead. <laughs> Go figure. Let's be dead together. Uh, see, I feel like how did you? That's die really personal. Really, that's a really yeah. personal. That's like, so what do you do for fun? Seems you know. I haunt places, like actually scare people. Nothing too mean. Just like flicker lights on and off. Or off and on. Move stuff around so it floats. Push people downstairs. You know, ghost stuff. Fun. Nothing too mean. I just push people downstairs and then they... Uh, that all sounds amazing. Even the stair <laughs> thing? Uh, of course not. <laughs> I've, okay, I've good. taken a trip down the stairs. That's kind of the last one. Ray looks around. Man, look at this place. Only ghosts would think a rotting garden is a good place to pick up. Uh... Oh, we don't want to ask about Fran. You don't That's ask what me. someone, you never ask what someone else on the date. You only have so much time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So like, and yet you're here, I think is. Well, yeah, I'm here. Even tried, ever tried dating ghosts in the wild? They're all just contort and wail and not in the good way. Again, uh, you don't talk about your ex on dates. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do, or do we want to do like, if we're going to be a ghost, do we just want to like lean into awkward? Or... I don't know. It's your, you're the ghost. It's your choice. All right. Let's go. My ex was a nightmare. Yeah. I assume you mean a literal nightmare. I've gone out with all kinds, pretty girls in dresses who carry their own heads. Shadow who refused to let me look directly at him. Being dead is great. And the, it's the other dead people that kill me. Uh, blunt like we're gonna smoke a blunt no oh yeah where oh. i could use one just oh, kidding yeah all right hot does nothing oh see so is dead bit how holy does not does it holy 
Lee does it do does nothing? It not do, do nothing. Getting yeah. messed up is the only thing I miss about the living. When I was alive, I loved jokes about dying. Life sucked. Jerks everywhere. Never enough money. Jerks got the money. It'd all be the best way to die is now before death does me in. Oh, I, it, he took a black pill. It should, yeah, they should at least buy me dinner. Jokes, you know? Now that I am dead, it just feels right. Like maybe it was meant to be, which I guess makes sense. Because we're all, we're all, because we all die in junk. What's your vibe off this person? The bell rings. Uh, yeah, cringe, no. Antler go ghost rang that bell. That means we change places. See you in a bit. Her name is Fran. I know. Why She's would you say Antler Fran? Ghost. Yeah, this that's is... a little rude. Yeah. Another ghost appears. Uh, hello. Sweet. Oh, hello there. I'm Hattie. You'll have to forgive me. I'm a little shy. Just so nice to get out of the home. See a new face. Uh, let's say the the home. The home? I have the old folks' home, where I died. Queen Mary's. Not a nice place to live, let alone die. Uh, they treated you poorly. I wouldn't say poorly. The nurses did their best, but they are all sort staffed. The residents are frequently neglected. To make to make Queen's Mary a little better. That's my mission in death. Huh. So I haunt people. Um, how do you help? How do you help? I'm curious how. Anyway, I can. I keep watch on the vitals, ring a nurse when needed, tuck residents in at night. In their final moments, I whisper in their ears. There is more, I say. Just you wait. Um. They seem nice. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's so nice. I never thought death would be like this. As ghosts, we have the power of the living, whether they know it or not. We all have to use that power for good. Uh, what about fun? What well, fun? By all means, have fun. Lord knows I try. In eternity means you can see every movie you missed. And you can every Broadway show. I personally don't find the time, though. There's too much to do. Oh, man. Okay. Death was not yeah, a sweet release. Okay. Sometimes yeah. I think it would be easier if I had someone help me when things get tough. Aw. Yeah. Uh, were you alone? Well, yeah, we shouldn't ask shouldn't ask it might get easier make it easier i'm content to make it easy for others bell rings oh i guess that's our time i suppose i will see you again when i come back around thank you for the talk i've never done speed dating me neither i never gone to bars to pick up people another ghost appears oh hell hi yes hi <laughs> Uh, ghost says nothing, only stares. Uh, My eyes are up here, buddy. Stare back. Uh, uh, ghost eyes narrow. Narrow your eyes. Uh, uh, ghost open their mouth wide. Wider. Wider. The sides begin to crack and tear. Inside smells so foul, musty and sour, like rotting peaches. Ghost lets out a guttural cry. Low and lonely. The other ghosts in the room are all looking at you. Uh, let's say, are you okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, no. No. No, I am not. No, I am not. Well, the you, ghosts relax. Actually... In an instant, they leave you. All right. The other ghosts return to their dates. You're left alone at the table for some time. This vengeful spirit, this entity, it seems so different from any ghost you've known. It was so raw, so empty. Yes. We can fix it. We can make it better. <laughs> you want to fix her up for ghost? The bell rings. <laughs> so that was our third. Okay, second round see, so now we have yeah. the second round. Everybody's so flippin' gloomy here. I keep thinking, who died? Everyone died. That's the joke. You know that's the joke, right? Man, we should no. just go haunting. We got some flesh bags. We want something to be afraid of. Okay. Uh, maybe. <laughs> like, you gonna do better than me here? Or anywhere? Uh, Most ghosts are that, sad like, as heck. Vengeful spirit? <laughs> yeah, or boring. <laughs> Lots of boring ones, too. So he's negging us. I, I, he's maybe. Like, you're not gonna be able to do better than me. So. Yeah, that's true. Uh, what makes a ghost cool? Yeah. You really have to ask, did you really ask that? You're cool, you're cool. You just are who you are. You're not trying to wear someone else's bedsheet, you know? What? 
I've only met a few ghosts like that f so far. Mostly ones I met at punk shows. Great, because you never need a ticket. Uh, so why are you here? I wanted to meet ghosts who aren't like me. I'm sick of doing the same things, but then I actually remember I like doing those things. I really just want to share them with someone new. I know, I probably sound pathetic. Yeah, off you go. <laughs> Already? It was okay. Come find me after. We'll do something. Uh, okay. Uh... Oh, so I guess what exactly do you have in mind? You'll see. Boy. Oh, God. Yeah. Hey, Yay. it's Grandpa Ghost. Hello again. How was the speed dating going? Everything you hoped it would be? Uh, you're my favorite so far. Cause she is. Well, There's no need know, for but... flattery. Aw. <laughs> Aw. We've already getting along fine. There's something different about you. A light. I can literally see it glowing in there. In your guts. Just don't let it go to your head. That's Dying has I... shown me there's still a lot to learn. Always something I... new worth knowing. It died Idiot. because I ate... I ate, um... Light bulb? Uh, plutonium, yeah. Okay. Katie looks at the garden rotting around you. Do you like gardening? Uh, I actually really do like gardening. <laughs> I don't much care for flowers. They're beautiful. They sure don't last. Vegetables are where it's at. I love ones that grow like the Dickens. Squash, snap peas, spaghetti squash vines are thick and sharp. They'll choke other plants if you're not careful. I like to I like turtles. I like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. Oh, uh, think about how old that guy is now. I don't... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, how about spinach? I like spinach. Spinach is a fun one. If you stay on top of harvesting the baby leaves, the plant will produce for months. But if you neglect it, spinach Oops. will run wild and grow bitter. Just like me. Yep. Now that yeah. we're ghosts, I know we don't need to eat. I still like to grow food. Help something live, you know? Alright, our favorite, real favorite is coming up next. Yep. Oops, there's the bell. I'm due at the nursing home tomorrow. I'll be honored if you join me. It's not an exciting as day as other ghosts might offer, but it has its rewards. Someone dear to me is taking turn for the worst. I'm afraid he only has a few days left. I want to make sure he knows it won't be his last. Uh, let me think about it. That sounds like... Watch, I understand. Let's, yeah, with the Queen like, let's go on a end. date and we can watch somebody die together. It's not really... Yeah, like... you want to see a <laughs> soon-to-be-dead body? Hope yeah, to see exactly. you there. How do you flats over the next table? She takes her time. Seems like she wishes she could just stay and talk to you. Ah, Yes. This should be the, the time when the unsettling spirit of Venture returns from another conversation. Sadly, they are nowhere to be found. Maybe it's for the best. Aww. With bleeding eyes, obvious baggage, it clearly would have been a handful. Alex. The bell rings. Well, that's the save icon. Okay, I was wondering what that was. Yeah. All right, who are we dating? Gary. Oh, we're going after Gary. <laughs> the, the ghost love cannot be dated. Oh. Do we have to do, right, do we have so to do we have to, to a restart? Punk show or are we are we gonna go watch somebody die? It's your call. Uh let's let's go watch somebody die, I guess. <laughs> you arrive at Queen Mary's to meet Hattie for your date. 7 04 a.m. You're a little late. Get around, this could be any nursing. Yellowed walls, stained drop ceiling. Supply carts lie at the corners, along on the odd, empty IV stands. Sun's not quite up, but the residents sure are. Walking the halls to get a brief bit of exercise. Heading over, weak decaf in the dining room next to reception. You came! Hearts. Aww. Came to Queen Mary's. My home. What do you think? Uh, it's sad. You play like, this very honest. Yeah, like, it's... <laughs> I can see how you'd say it that way. For me, it's a place of rest. Waiting room for the afterlife. Like, a lot of video games, like, you are. we are so trained in video games to be, like, the yes, you know, just yeah. say whatever you think yeah. they want to hear and not have your yep. own um, statement. Yeah. Behind Hattie, an old woman hangs up the lobby phone. The woman begins to cry. Her son. Probably making more excuses not to visit. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, do I have to nope. sign in? <laughs> You're a ghost. No one will see you, unless you want them to. Just come with me. 
someone I want you to meet. Hey, floats off down the left corridor. All these corridors look the same, but she knows exactly where she's going. You pass a number of open doors, glancing inside. Some residents watch TV from their beds. Others just stare at the windows or at the walls. Most rooms are bare. A few are decorated. There are tall plants, fine wood furniture. In one room, you spot a record collection. Essential possessions transplant, transplanted make this place feel more like home. I think retirement homes scare me. I actually, my first job um, was I was a waitress at a, it wasn't a, it wasn't a retirement. It was, it was a retirement community or something like it was. Yeah. It wasn't like, it wasn't a nursing home. It That's was a different. Sorry. I should have said nursing yeah. home. Yeah. Yeah. Nursing home. Like, um, and then, yeah, like my, my grandmother was, was in a, like a proper nursing home yeah. for, you know, uh, a period. And it's like, <laughs> it really, like, it does depend on what sort of facility. It depends your, on your, how much money you got. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, even then, like there are, there are certain, various, like retirement yeah. facilities. So yeah, there are places that like, that have grants and stuff that for lower income people. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, you definitely like, if you have a parent that, um, you're thinking about placing then like just basically you, you'll probably know pretty quickly when you go into yeah, the facility if it's a good spot or not yeah like you literally if, if you smell like if you smell urine <laughs> like yeah that's not a, like it's, it's not a good it's, sign it's, yeah it's not a good like that's that's kind of all you have to do is a sniff test that's generally like, how you raise kids too so from cradle to yeah. grave it's one simple <laughs> test <laughs> at the far end of the long haul hattie stops and turns to you so i know this is probably obvious but we're here to see Milton. He's my partner for oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Forty seven years. Watch. I think I'm a firecracker. Milton's all sparks. You'll like him, I think. Been doing worse lately. Uh is uh is he sick? He's just old. Little things stack up when you're old. Eventually one kills you. I've been spending a lot of time I've been spending a lot of time here. It's as him concerned. I would never go visit wait, hold on. You must consider Milton to be an ex if you're dating, right? Yeah, this is So weird. this is a bad first date where you go to spy slash visit your ex. Or... Milton says I'm hanging out to the past. Is this like a third thing? <laughs> he wants me to make friends with who are more like me. Ghost, he means. I want to show him that I met a good one. Oh. Okay, okay so, so Milton's telling her to move on. This is... Right. Okay, it makes him so happy. You picked, a, you picked an interesting story here. Howdy turns yeah. to go to Milton's room. <coughs> Good morning, Millie. Inside is an empty bed neatly made. Milton's gone. Oh. No. Uh -oh. Katie frantically searches the room. Blasts a chart on the foot of the bed. This says, this says dead. he had an aneurysm. Aww. He was taken to the hospital. She looks with you with fears in her eyes. I I have to go. Uh let's go with her. I can go with you. I I like yeah. that. I know it's a lot to ask, but I'm scared to do this alone. Arrive at the hospital with Hattie. Those find their steps encounter to locate Milton's room, second floor, intensive care. Milton's room is dim. A reedy old man with a thick mustache lies in the bed motionless. Quiet, ex quiet except for the steady whoosh and click of the machine by his side. A ventilator connected to a tube to run down his throat. Gene is breathing for him. Oh no. Oh no! Milton! Who surrounds him? He might have already left his body. We were supposed to let him go. They were supposed to let him go. Oh, he had a DNR. Ah, uh, looks at Milton's chart. It says he was found unresponsive. No signs of brain activity. But I still feel his presence. No, don't you? He's trapped. Uh, I think he's gone. Not everyone becomes a ghost. I'm sure you've noticed that by now. Something needs to keep you here. For me, I always thought that something was him. Uh oh. His sister has power of attorney. Wow. He didn't this want is getting... this. He signed a form that said, "Do not." This is a dark. Yeah. This is not what yeah. I expected. He didn't want this. <laughs> Katie looks up. Are we going to pull the plug on this guy? Oh my god. I'm sorry I dragged you here. I know this must be quite awkward. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone with Milton now. Uh, Yes, I understand. I don't want to Thank be here when you pull the plug. <laughs> Steps out the hall to leave. And... You can not, can't hear Hades something about something at Milton's bedside. There's so much more, my love. And then Just you clicks. wait. And then no more Milton. Speed dating round two is going to be Milton. I guess. That that was... <laughs> so we go back to the... That was a whole loop. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was a whole loop. Uh, <laughs> is it Graveyard? Is it all the... Okay, so we... Haiti and Milton, right. we met. Heart failure. 
Okay, so we could redo the date and died in twenty ten. Okay. Uh what what'd you think? I, I'm actually I actually like that ending for Haiti and Mil uh, for Hattie and Milton. Um so I, I have no interest in redoing that date. Yeah, that was our that. our first date. So I, I would oh, wow, I'm gonna have to say let's let's not... review this in let's review this in two passes. Uh, um first pass as the game it's a standard visual novel interesting art style some little some fun lines stuff like that you know there's three options on where you can go so i, I think it's the fine visual novel yeah. second if you were on that date to go to work at a nursing home i think that's totally fine volunteering volunteering in a yeah. public space is a great date mm -hmm. you know soup kitchen you know yeah. uh uh i mean people can't get out as much but like doing something volunteer like clean you know walking a forest cleaning up litter like a volunteering yeah. act of service is, 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 in my opinion, a decent date. Yeah. Yeah. Safe, sunny, outdoor, um, low pressure. You know, no one has to spend a lot of money. You're helping out. Like it, it's all really good. And if in in some cases, it could also help your your terms of parole. So it's it's win win. Right. Right. Yeah. It looks very very good. Yeah. Uh, you know, when when the next time you're at your sentencing, they'll say, "But your honor, when he killed that person, he was cleaning up garbage." Yeah. So, and, yeah. yeah. So so my question to you is for the other half of this would you it, it if 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 I think it's a bad date but what do you think about going to meet your ex on a date? Oh, God. <laughs> um no, I mean I definitely leaned into like let's do cuz that's just it like one thing I like about visual novels is that you get to do things that you would never, Normal, never do. do. Yeah, you get to. Life. It's 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 and a safe place to play. It, exactly. It's and that's kind of how I was going about this. Is like, yeah, wow. Like let's yeah let, let's go let's go meet your your ex who's still alive and doesn't actually want you hanging around him anymore yeah. because he thinks that you need to move on. So you're gonna bring me along. Let's all right. Let's let's ride this train to the end. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so I. I, I thought that was um, that that was really fun. I think you know these kind of games, especially these short games, are good. They're really they're they're snackable, you, right? And they really let you. They give you that space because in a longer game, there is that there is that pull to be like, no 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 no. I want to like if I'm going to invest in this game, then I kind of want I want to be comfortable, right? And, and and so you know in order to to play a game you know that you do kind of want that comfort area for yourself so like you know you want to be playing a character that you feel you know connected to and you know you're, you're making decisions that you would feel that you would make and then just kind of see how it takes you right and in a smaller game you have that ability to just be like uh you know i'm gonna light my hair on fire mm -hmm. uh i'm gonna let it all hang out and i'm just gonna go full cringe and i love that yeah because um you, you want know, to be able to, you want to feel safe you want to be able to roll in that mud and feel safe yeah. Yeah. but honestly i think that that was a really interesting story like it was I, it dark, was not but it was also it was touching and sweet and it raised yeah. difficult questions like it it was yeah. i mean i can't speak for the other nine options or whatever but yeah. yeah i thought that was like it got me by surprise you know yeah yeah i was i was pleasantly surprised by that yeah. i'm giving this a thumbs up so speed dating for <laughs> ghosts cheers cheers